Hi everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel Dr. Srinivas Medical Concepts and my every page Dr. Srinivas Concepts. This is Dr. Srinivas, Neurologist from Rajmandri, Andhra Pradesh, India. I am also the medical author of the book Focused Neurology and Exam Oriented Clinical Neurology. My email is sriklpm at gmail.com. Today we are going to talk about a very very interesting quadriplegia a clinical approach concepts of motor system part 12 in the last two episodes we talked about hemiplegia a clinical approach and then paraplegia a clinical approach now in this edition we are going to talk about quadriplegia a clinical approach quadriparesis or generalized weakness quadriparesis is the term used when an upper motor neuron cause is suspected Whereas generalized weakness is used when a disease of motor units is likely. Weakness from CNS disorders usually is associated with changes in consciousness or cognition and accompanied by UMN signs like spasticity, hyperreflexia and there would be sensory disturbances. Most neuromuscular causes of generalized weakness are associated with normal mental function hypotonia and hypoactive muscle stretch reflexes. Causes of episodic generalized weakness. So they are not consistent. They are episodic. So electrolyte disturbances example hypokalemia may produce episodic generalized weakness or muscle disorders like channelopathies, hypokalemic periodic paralysis or metabolic defects of muscles like impaired carbohydrate or fatty acid utilization. The other causes of episodic generalized weakness are neuromuscular junction disorders example myasthenia gravis or central nervous system disorders example transient ischemic attack which can recover again or loss of voluntary effort that is a somatization disorder. So these are all the cause of episodic, they are not persistent. These are all the causes of episodic generalized weakness. Electrolyte disturbances like hypokalemia, muscle disorders like channelopathies, metabolic disorders of muscle like impaired carbohydrate or fatty acid utilization, neuromuscular junction disorders like myasthenia gravis or transient ischemic attack or somatization disorder. Now let's talk about the acute quadriparesis. Quadriparesis with onset over minutes may result from disorders of upper motor neurons or muscles or nerves. Quadriparesis due to upper motor neurons may result from anoxia, decreased oxygen to the brain, hypotension, uh, decreased perfusion to the brain because of hypotension or brainstem or cervical cord ischemia or a trauma or a systemic metabolic abnormalities. So quadriparesis due to upper motor neurons may result from anoxia, hypotension, brainstem or cervical cord ischemia, trauma and systemic metabolic abnormalities. Quadriparesis due to muscle disorders may be due to electrolyte disturbances, example hypokalemia, certain inborn errors of muscle energy metabolism, toxins and periodic paralysis. Quadriparesis due to lower motor neurons may be due to Guillain Barre syndrome. We have talked about the acute quadriparesis. Now let us talk about subacute and chronic quadriparesis. Quadriparesis due to upper motor neuron disease may develop over weeks to years from chronic myelopathies, multiple sclerosis, brain or spine tumors, chronic subdural hematomas and various metabolic, toxic and infectious disorders. Quadriparesis may also result from lower motor neuron disease, a chronic neuropathy in weakness in which weakness is often most profound distally or myopathic weakness in which weakness is often most profound proximally. So these are all the important concepts of quadriplegia. The other important concepts of clinical neurology like history taking, general examination, examination pertaining to neurology, hemiplegia and paraplegia. All the exam oriented clinical neurology topics 
I have put it in a book, Exam Oriented Clinical Neurology. If interested, this book could be purchased. It will be very useful for clinical neurology exams. The other important concepts of neurology, I put it in a question and answer format, uh, which will be very useful for oral exams in neurology. Uh, this book, Focus Neurology, is written by me, Dr. S. Srinivas. This book is available online from all leading booksellers, including Amazon. If interested, this could, book could be purchased online. So I hope you have enjoyed listening to these wonderful concepts of quadriplegia clinical approach. If you have liked it, please like it, share the link, but please subscribe my YouTube channel, Dr. Srinivas Medical Concepts, and my every page, Dr. Srinivas Concepts. Thank you. Bye.